Today, I want to remind you that dystopian novels are stories. As in all stories, the characters will face obstacles. But here's the important thing. Dystopian novels usually include systematic obstacles, political or societal obstacles, as well as personal ones. Readers, there are three kinds of problems in these books. I think that is true of your life as well. For a second, think of the times when things feel troubled in your life. Say that your cousin's family comes to stay with you for three whole weeks and it really doesn't work. In fact, you feel like the whole visit is a disaster. Presumably, there are personal reasons. You're jealous that your cousin plays basketball better than you. And there are external reasons, like his parents just bought him a new Xbox and your parents expect you to save your own money for one. But there are also political, systematic reasons that would be there no matter who he was because they are built into the whole system. Like you had enough space in your house, but now with another family there, you are displaced. And just as you can find these three categories of problems in life, you can also find them in dystopian stories. Take a minute to think about these categories with the book Ponies. Think about whether the problem was personal or just between two characters or whether it was bigger than that. Go back to earlier thinking about what has gone wrong in the world and use it as a clue about whether the problem is personal or about the world. Now that you've figured out which problems fit into each category, let's focus in on personal and systemic problems. Will you think about, and this is key, how solving systemic problems is a different process than solving personal problems? What can these characters do to face these different kinds of obstacles? I'm thinking that for Barbara and Sonny to tackle their personal problems, they have a lot of options. But to tackle the systemic problems, that's going to be a lot harder. They'll have to deal with power and tradition, and they'll have to fight against the rules of a whole society, something much bigger than any one person. Does that match what you were thinking? Now I want you to try this. Think about the systemic problems. And then pause the video and take a minute to jot a quick note about how these characters are tackling the systemic problems. If you're not sure how to start, I'm going to start mine like this. To deal with the system of cutting ponies, Barbara and Sonny would have had to. In your writing notebook, think about the systemic problem. And then, using this sentence stem or one similar, write about it. Readers, this is kind of interesting work, right? When you know that there are all these kinds of obstacles, you can start looking out for troubles in different categories, and you can better understand what the hero is up against and how he or she will have to respond. The way you fight a government is going to be a little different than the way you fight a villain, right? And those are both different from the way you fight against, say, your own bad habits. In dystopian books, you get to think about how people fight these big systems. Go back to the lesson platform where you'll try this work in the next activity.